It's tough not to feel sad or upset when someone judges you. Sometimes you worry too much about what others think of you. What if you felt more stable and happy by not caring about things that don't matter? Here's what happens when you don't care about others' opinions. Stay till the end, as I have a surprise for you. 1. The joy of being yourself. When you wake up, your first thoughts are completely your own, free from what society expects or worrying about others' opinions. You choose clothes that make you feel good, not just to fit in or make others happy. As your day goes on, you freely share your ideas and feelings, knowing some might disagree, but your voice is important. How wonderful is that freedom? This freedom to be yourself feeds your soul, just like water is vital for your body. It satisfies a deep need you might not have known you had. Once you start embracing your true self and accepting who you are, you'll wonder how you lived differently. Why is this so important? Being free to be you lets you be truly authentic, which is hard to achieve otherwise. You're not faking who you are, which is tiring. You're not wasting energy trying to fit in or keep up appearances. Instead, you use that energy for your own dreams and growth. Reduced stress and anxiety. These are two big problems we often face, sometimes without knowing how much they affect us. The thought that we need to meet others' expectations hangs over us. It makes us worry and overthink everything. What if they don't like my clothes? What if they judge my job? We regret what we didn't say or do. These worries add up, filling our minds and making us feel overwhelmed and tired. When you stop worrying about others' opinions, your way of thinking shifts. Your mind becomes clearer, allowing you to see things as they really are, not as you worry others might perceive them. This new clarity brings a fresh viewpoint, focused on your own thoughts and feelings instead of others. You'll notice that making decisions gets easier as you're now led by your intuition and understanding of right and wrong, not by the fear of what others might think. Stress and anxiety's emotional impact reduces significantly. Once you stop worrying about what others think, your heart doesn't race thinking someone might be judging you. The discomfort in your stomach fades away as you no longer obsess over past conversations and how to make others happy. Your body starts to relax, which helps your mind clear up. This creates a good cycle that boosts your overall well-being. Moreover, as stress and anxiety drop, your energy levels go up. You stop spending emotional and physical energy on pointless worrying. This extra energy can be used for beneficial activities, engaging in your hobbies, improving your relationships, and working on your personal and spiritual growth. You no longer aim to please others. Trying to make others happy often means sacrificing your own happiness and growth. It's like giving away water from your well to others. While kind, this can leave you dry if you don't refill your own well. When you focus on your needs instead of others' opinions, you change. Free from outside judgments, you find a deep inner strength. Your actions move from being about duty to being about what you truly want. This doesn't mean you stop caring about others. It means you're true to yourself. People often think putting yourself first is selfish, but that's not true. Real, self-love benefits both you and those around you. When you act out of self-respect and inner peace, you're a better parent, friend, and community member. You spread positivity and lift up others. Consider how much mental and emotional energy you use to meet others' expectations. It's tiring, and often you can't make everyone happy no matter how hard you try. Breaking free from this cycle saves your energy for what really matters to you. You can use this energy for your hobbies, relationships, and spiritual growth. Another advantage of not worrying about others' opinions 
is setting healthy boundaries. These boundaries protect your emotional and spiritual health. They set limits on what's okay and what's not, marking out your personal space. This shows self-respect, telling yourself and others that your well-being is important and deserves to be looked after. You no longer alter yourself to suit others. Almost everyone has felt the pressure to change, to match someone else's expectations, a challenge that usually starts in childhood. From a young age, we're bombarded with ideas about how we should appear, act, and what goals to pursue. These notions come from family, friends, media, and society. This pressure can be intense and more significantly, it can steer us away from finding and embracing our true selves. Let's explore what happens when you break free from this cycle and why it's life-changing. Constantly changing to meet others' expectations or fit societal norms comes at a great cost. First, it's tiring. The mental, emotional and sometimes physical energy to keep up a facade or alter your behavior to please others is draining. Second, by changing parts of yourself for others, you're implying your true self isn't good enough. This harms your self-esteem and self-worth. Over time, you might lose track of your real identity as your genuine self gets buried under the fake personas you've created to be accepted or approved. Think about the change that happens when you stop trying to conform and start celebrating your uniqueness. It's like returning home after a long, exhausting trip. You feel relief, comfort, and a deep happiness when you accept yourself, flaws and all. By letting go of the pressure to meet others' expectations, you release a lot of energy and mental capacity. This energy can be used for activities that feed your soul and truly make you happy. Valuing and showing your true self is a form of self-love. The more you accept yourself, the less you need others' approval. A wonderful thing happens when you stop looking for external approval. The world begins to accept you as you are. Being real leads to real connections. When you're honest with yourself, you attract genuine relationships, enhancing your life in ways impossible while trying to conform. Also, there's a great sense of freedom in being boldly yourself. This freedom sparks creativity and bravery. You become ready to take chances and step out of your comfort zone, free from the worry of others' opinions. Every experience becomes deeper and more meaningful, driven by your genuine choices and actions. You find happiness in yourself. We all search for happiness, often looking outside our selves, in other people or things. But depending on others for happiness makes our emotional well-being fragile. It's like giving the key to our happiness to someone else, be it friends, family, or society. Picture your happiness as a lovely garden inside you. If others are in charge, they might care for it or neglect it. When you're responsible for your garden, you make sure it's well cared for. You water the plants, weed out the unwanted, and delight in the flowers. You become your own happiness gardener, cultivating it with self-love and understanding. When you're in control of your happiness, you gain resilience right away. Life has its highs and lows and is full of unexpected challenges. If your happiness comes from within, you're more prepared to handle these difficulties without falling apart. Why? Because your well-being doesn't depend on outside situations, you don't need everything around you to be ideal to feel good. You've built a personal haven of joy inside yourself, a place you can always turn to, regardless of external events. This resilience means you react less to life's highs and lows because you're not constantly seeking joy externally. Your emotions don't swing wildly with external events. You become more emotionally stable and centered. It doesn't mean you won't experience all human emotions. That's normal and healthy. But your deep sense of joy stays intact, like a strong tree standing firm through changing weather. 
This emotional self-sufficiency also improves your relationships. When you're in charge of your own happiness, you don't burden others with your emotional needs. This lets them be themselves, leading to deeper, more genuine connections. In such relationships, both people are complete on their own, enhancing each other's lives without relying on the other to fill a gap. Building this inner haven of joy begins with knowing and accepting yourself. Spend time understanding your likes, dislikes, passions, fears, and deepest wishes. Accept every part of yourself. The more self-aware you are, the easier it is to create a happy environment for yourself. Also, practice gratitude. Appreciating the good things in your life rather than focusing on what's missing can greatly increase your contentment. Remember the joy in simple things like a lovely sunset, a chat with a friend, or a good book. Finding happiness in small moments shows it's plentiful and easy to find. Lastly, do things that match your values and excite you. Doing what you love naturally leads to happiness. As promised, I give today a free ebook on how Stoicism can help for supreme happiness and success with 10 time tested principles. Write in the comments ebook if you want it. Now is the moment to take a powerful step. Stop worrying about others' opinions and start living a life full of authenticity, happiness, and spiritual richness. This path might not be simple, but every step is valuable. Let today mark the beginning of your incredible new life. Remember, you are perfectly adequate as you are. Celebrate your uniqueness. As we conclude this video, we'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments. Feel free to share this with someone dear to you. Wishing you a fantastic rest of your day.